Alright guys, hey! Welcome back to my channel. I'm trying to film this really quickly because I have stuff to do later on today, but I'm so excited for this video. In this video, I'm going to be kind of refurbishing my couch back there. It doesn't always look like this, by the way. I'm really picky, so I would just constantly like buy pillows and return them and to see what I like, but it looks like I'm pretty happy with this right now. I got this couch about, oh, Bella. I got this couch about mm, six, meh, four, four or five months ago, and um, I love it. It's a custom couch, I got it off of Dream Sofa. I was constantly, you know, digging and researching and finding companies that would make couches you know, exactly, it would give me all the things that I wanted, check all the boxes. So I finally got this couch in the mail. <laughs> Not in the mail. They delivered it to my house. But um, it's been a couple months and my mom keeps complaining about how uncomfortable the couch is. The couch is really big. It's, the fabric is perfect. It's washable. I can um, unzip it and wash it. The only problem is the comfort level. I didn't think about that when I ordered this. I was already spending a lot customing, customizing and um, making it the size that I wanted and the foam I didn't think about. I just wanted to get the standard one because I'm already spending a lot of money. I spent about like a little over $2,000 on this couch. It's crazy money already and plus the shipping and unpacking and having people put it inside my house so it was a lot of money already so i was trying to cut corners with the um comfort level and that kind of backfired because every time my mom sits on it she complains and i'm with her on that i mean it hurts her joints and everything so i was trying to find alternatives to save this couch and make it better of course when i looked online and try to find you know foams custom foams and you can get customized foams to fit you know the size of your couch and everything but it's crazy crazy expensive and so i just kept digging digging um, i kind of almost gave up and just like whatever but then um i watched this video um this girl diying her couch to make it like the restoration hardware cloud couch oh my god my dogs i'm so sorry yeah so i watched her diy that like a year ago but you know i didn't think anything of it i thought that was really cool that she made that but i watched the video again just recently and it dawned on me that like i could just use polyfill she used poly polyfill and just like regular um i'll show you um, polyester like pillows to put um as like the uh padding for and foam for her couch and i thought you know what that's a good idea and she said it was like crazy comfortable it's supposed to be a dupe for the restoration hardware couch if you guys don't know what restoration hardware um, cloud couch line is it's basically it's supposed to be the most comfortable the couch out there, but it's crazy expensive. So she just DIY'd it and made it cheaper and just made her own. I'll show a clip of the video and I'll also link the video down below. But she just gave me the idea, why don't I just fill the couch with, you know, some polyfill. She also ripped up, if you want, um, watch the video, she ripped up the pillows that I just showed you to fill her couch. She said it was super, super comfortable and um, it pretty much feels like the restoration hardware cloud couch. Of course, um, I know people are gonna look at this video like this is not like a copy of it. I'm not trying to copy the look of it. I'm really just trying to copy the comfort level of it. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, anything is more comfortable than this couch. Like, trust me. <laughs> Okay, so I'm so excited to open this up. And I saw that the couch is really big, so I don't, honestly don't think this is gonna fill so much, but I think maybe I'll just do half of the couch. I don't know, just see the difference, but whatever. Let's open it up. I sh 
showed you guys those pillows. I also am planning on doing what the girl did in the video um, and ripping up those extra pillows to fill my couch as well. It's funny because I was about to sell those pillows because like I said, I was really picky with picking my pillows and I had those extra and I didn't, I don't know what to do with it. So now <laughs> this solves the problem. I get to use those pillows for my couch. I did want to show you guys a tip that I learned at work that really helps. If you guys don't have a um, box cutter, I mean, I do have a box cutter right now, but I'm just too lazy to get it. This usually works. It's kind of my life hack. So if you don't have a box cutter, you can just slap the box to kind of loosen the tape. I'm going to hit it hard. And so now you can stick your finger in. It's easy to peel. Okay, so this is the end result. I ended up using or filling one of the couch pads and I practically achieved my goal 100%. It's super comfortable. She was so right. Yes, it's a little bit lumpy, but you can see how much softer it is um, comparing the difference. So the right side, obviously what I'm sitting on is soft and the other is not. This idea solved all the problems for me that I had with it. So before I wasn't able to eat at my coffee table, you can see that my coffee table is pretty awesome that I can lift up so I can eat, but it was too high. Um, I ordered the couch and the padding was too high and too stiff. And now that it's soft, I can comfortably eat because I'm um, sitting lower. So I'm just showing here the close up of what the couch is looking like so yeah it's lumpy the other one is more form-fitting i guess i can put a foam just to keep the shape but i don't know we'll see i think it's just an easy fix but you can see how much happier i am with this i'm super comfortable it's basically like i'm basically melting into the couch and i love it my back feels so much better my mom's back is better um, this is me just like straightening it out to make it look better, but honestly, I'm pretty satisfied with it. The look of it doesn't really bother me so much. That's going to be it for the video, guys. Sorry I look a little bit crazy, but let me know in the comments down below if you would try this, you thought it was helpful, ask me any questions, of course. I'll always leave my Instagram down below if you can DM me, or you can DM me if you like. Give this video a huge like. Don't forget to share and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.